Nazarenos, welcome to Kids Church, your favorite place to be. I'm Polly, the prehistoric pelican, and... I'm Teacher Sarah, thrilled to share in the joy of learning about Jesus with all of you. Did you hear, Polly? Jesus performed miracles to show his love for us. That's jaw-dropping. Let's dive into worship and celebrate the miraculous love and friendship of Jesus. Yahoo! Yahoo! Airplanes. Have you ever made a paper airplane before? I have this book of plans to make paper airplanes. See, I made this green one and it flies like this. Look at this blue one. Watch me fly it through the hoop. Now I'm working on following another plan. I just need to fold it this way, this way. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Danny. Who? Who? Making paper airplanes, are you? Hey, Ollie. I have some special plans to make paper airplanes. Following plans is important. It's true. I know someone who has plans for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Follow me through. 
Aisha and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Today my friend gave me a new recipe to try and when I followed the plan, ta-da! <laughs> I made peanut butter and jelly cupcakes. Don't they look yummy? The plan worked! This reminds me of a story about God's plans. Do you want to hear it? If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell tell me a story! One, two, three, Tell me a story! Today's true story from the Bible is about a man named Joseph. Joseph's dad gave him a very special coat, which made some of his brothers very mad. They were so mad, they sent Joseph far away to work in a place called Egypt. Do you think God was with Joseph in Egypt? Yes! God was always with Joseph. And God had plans for Joseph. While Joseph was working in Egypt, he was sent to jail for something he didn't do. Do you think God was with Joseph in jail? Yes! God was always with Joseph. And God had plans for Joseph. One day, the king of Egypt named Pharaoh had a dream, and he didn't know what it meant. He heard that Joseph was very good at understanding dreams, so he had Joseph brought to the palace to talk to him. Do you think God was with Joseph when he talked to Pharaoh? Yes, God was always with Joseph, and God had plans for Joseph. <laughs> Joseph listened to Pharaoh, and God helped Joseph understand the dream. The dream meant that lots of food would grow for seven years. But after that, there would be seven years where no food would grow. Pharaoh was so happy that Joseph helped him that he put Joseph in charge of all of Egypt. Do you think God was with Joseph when he was in charge? Yes, God was always with Joseph and God had plans for Joseph. <laughs> Joseph got to work saving food in Egypt for seven years. Let's count to seven together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <gasps> Look, Joseph saved so much food, which is good because just like God said, after seven years, the food stopped growing. Now, everyone needed food to eat, including all of Joseph's family. Yes, all of Joseph's brothers didn't have any food, but who saved up all the food in Egypt? Their brother Joseph! <laughs> when Joseph's brothers came to Egypt for food, Joseph forgave them for being mean to him. Joseph gave them a big hug and made sure everyone in his family had food. Wow, God did have plans for Joseph and God was always with him. God is always with you too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God has plans for you. And God is always with you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God had plans for Joseph, and God was always with him. And I know God will always be with me, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. And finished. Let's see if we can fly this one all the way to Jackson's house. See you next time. Bye. That lesson on peace really warmed my feathers, Teacher Sarah. Peace from Jesus is like a gentle breeze that lifts us up, Polly. It's so important. Absolutely. With Jesus' peace and friendship, we can brighten even the gloomiest of days. Amen to that. Hey, Polly. 
Do you remember what this month's big word is? You bet I do. Here it is. God is with you wherever you are. Joshua 1, dot, dot, 9. Once again, God is with you wherever you are. Joshua 1, dot, dot, 9. Thank you, Polly. Now let's see what adventures await with Mr. Phil and Reginald. Hey, hey Mr. Mr. Phil. Happy birthday, Green Gorilla. Happy birthday to you. Yay! <laughs> Happy birthday, Green Gorilla. Hey, good morning, boys and girls. It's Mr. Phil here. Thank you so much for joining us on our birthday celebration for Green Gorilla. It's his birthday today. And yes, Green Gorilla is such a great friend to everybody. He's such a great blessing to us all. And you know what? He represents what God is all about because he's a great friend to us. When we're having a bad day or if we're having a great day, he's always there to support us and make us feel better, which is a lot like God. And so, yes, he's a great example. And so, yeah, we're all here to get... Wait, Big Bear, did you finish your cupcake already? We barely just finished singing happy birthday and Big Bear ate his cupcake already. Okay. <laughs> Big Bear. Yes, Big Bear. We might have another one for you. Don't worry. Okay. But yeah, we're all here. And, oh, what's that, Reginald? Why didn't, why isn't there a candle for Green Gorilla to blow out? Okay. Well, first of all, Green Gorilla insisted on not having a candle because he wants to be good to the environment and not make smoke. And second of all, last time we had a candle in a birthday celebration, Reginald, you used a flamethrower and we had to call the fire department. Okay. And there was smoke everywhere. It was terrible. So no more candles or, uh, or matches for you. Okay. So anyway, but Hey, it, it looks like you guys all have gifts for Green Gorilla as well. And presents. That's so cool. So Batman, what did you get for Green Gorilla? Well, I was going to get him a joke book, a bat joke book, a bat joke book. What's a, what's a bat joke book? It's bat jokes. Why did the bat cross the road? Why did the bat cross the road? Uh, I don't know. Why? Because there were bad guys on the other side and he went to beat them up. Okay, I, I think you made that joke up just now, Batman. I don't think that's a real joke. In fact, that sounds a lot like a chicken joke, you know, like why did the chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why? <laughs> why what? Why did the chicken cross the road? Okay, well, there's a lot of different reasons why the chicken crossed the road, Batman. I mean, um, to get to the other side? That's not very funny. Okay, okay. Batman, can we just see what gift you got for Green Gorilla today, okay? Well, oh, wow, look. It's in an Apple bag, so it came from an Apple store. Wow. I'll bet it's some kind of cool technology that Batman made. Or maybe Alfred made it. I don't know. Well, let's see what it is. Wow, it's in bubble wrap, too. It's in bubble wrap. Okay, well, let's see what it is. It's a banana. Oh, okay. How ironic. It was a banana that came in an... Apple bag. Okay. Well, that's good. But hey, Green Gorilla loves bananas, so he's very grateful and happy for it. Good job, Green Gorilla, and good job, Batman. So hey, what did you what about you, Big Bear? Oh, you guys all went together and got Hey, is that a picture of Reginald when he was a baby? Okay, okay, okay. I'm just kidding, Reginald. So wow, you all chipped in and got him something big. Okay. Well, let's see what it is. Let's see what Oh, it's a whole Bunch of bananas. Wow, look, you got lots of bananas, Green Gorilla. Isn't that great? Okay. And what about you, Reginald? Did you get Green Gorilla a gift? You did? But you want to show it after our song this morning? Okay, great. Well, hey, let's do our song this morning. I'll get my trusty guitar, and then we can see what Reginald gave Green Gorilla for his birthday, okay? I'm getting my guitar. Let's get the camera all set up nice and straight here for everyone. And now let's do our song. Our song is called All That I Am. And you know, God is always there for us. He gives everything for us. And he's always there like a great friend, the same way that Green Gorilla is a great friend. And so the least we can do is give everything that we have up to Jesus as well, whether we're having a good day or even a bad day. We can lay it before Jesus' feet and he's there to support us, just like the great friend that he is. So here we go. It's called All That I Am. All that I am, all that I have, I lay them down before you, O oh Lord. 
All my regrets, all my acclaim, the joy and the pain, I'm making them yours. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory, Lord, I offer my days to you, lifting my praise to you. As a pleasing sacrifice Lord, I offer you my life Things in the past Things yet unseen Wishes and dreams That are yet to come true All of my hopes all of my plans, my heart and my hands are lifted to you. Lord, I offer my life to you, everything I've been through. Use it for your glory, Lord, I offer my days to you. Lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Lord, I offer you my life. Lord, I offer you my life. Amen. That's right. We are to lay our lives before the Lord, everything that we have. So, all right, speaking of giving everything that we have, Reginald, what did you get Green Gorilla for his birthday? Oh, it's in this box down here. Oh, wow, it's a big box. What is this thing? Wow, it's pretty heavy too. Let's see what you got for Green Gorilla. Oh my goodness, you got him a Mr. Phil shirt. That's so awesome. And look, Green Gorilla's even on it. That's so sweet, Reginald. Good job. I'm not sure if it's going to fit him, though, but we'll try it on after this. Well, anyway, have a great rest of your day, boys and girls. A great rest of your week. And we'll see you next week, okay? All right, okay. Yes, Reginald, let's try to put this on Green Gorilla now. Here we go. <laughs> Another fantastic episode of Mr. Phil. I wish we could have adventures like them, Teacher Sarah. Oh, Polly, we have our own adventures right here in Kids Church. <laughs> You're right. Can you lead us in prayer, Teacher Sarah? Absolutely. Okay, let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you that Jesus is such a good friend. Help us to help others make peace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Say, Teacher Sarah, did you know that pelicans can eat up to three pounds of fish a day? I did not know that. Can you eat three pounds of fish a day? No, but I can eat seven pounds of bread in a day, no problemo. <laughs> well, I did know that. You are truly one of a kind, Polly. Bye, Bye kids. kids.